Good morning, students. Today is November 12th. For today, we have a reading activity. Look in your books at page 112. Page 112. Okay, this is the page 112. You choose present options, okay? First, we're going to read the how to box of here. Vamos primero a leer a how to box de la página del día de hoy, que es how to present options. First, to present options, use either, or you could, or alternative or one another option will be. Would you prefer to, or would you rather go? And options, when options have the same result, use either way, uh, whatever we do plus the result, okay? Aquí el how to box del día de hoy nos da los tips o los ideas de cómo presentar opciones, okay? Now we're going to read the email of the page. The point number two, read the email. How well do you think Francis knows Lola? Give reason for your opinion. Vamos a leer el email que nos presenta la página. The email said, hi Lola, thanks for sending your flight details. Unfortunately, I won't have finished class by the time you arrive, which gives you two options. I could ask my brother to come and get you in his car, or would you ready wait for 45 minutes at the airport and I come and get you? Either way, you'll be here in time for dinner. I've been thinking about things we could do. I know you're into space travel, so one option will be a Kennedy Space Center tour on your first day. Another option will be to look around Orlando. Or would you ready really stay at home? Whatever we do is fine by me. See you very soon. Love, Francis. Okay? So in this email, we can see the different tips that uh, the how to box present us. Okay? En este correo, podemos ver los diferentes tips que acabamos de leer en el how to box acerca de cómo presentar opciones, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, eh, en la cuarta línea, Would you ready wait? Aquí tenemos uno de los ejemplos. Eh, en la tercera línea también está. Eh, las opciones, las opciones que vemos en la línea número 6. We could do, so one option will be, or would you rather stay at home? Okay, entonces aquí en el email vemos las diferentes opciones que podemos utilizar al momento de nosotros presentar opciones, eh, ya sea de forma escrita o de forma verbal. Okay, now we want to work the part number one, speak and read. Answer the question. We have the question here, the question number one. Do you have friends in other countries or other parts of your country? If so, where do they live? Do they ever come to visit you? And the question number two, if someone who doesn't know your town or city came to visit you, what activities will you plan for them? Okay? I'm going to ask you both questions. Voy a irles preguntando ambas preguntas. No las dos a la misma persona, pero sí una de las dos les voy a preguntar. The first question, la primera pregunta, ¿qué es lo que nos pregunta? ¿Tienes amigos en otros países o en otra parte del país? O sea, en, en otra parte de Panamá, estamos hablando del interior. Si es así, ¿han venido o han ido a visitarte? ¿Ok? Si es así, ¿dónde viven? Y si han venido a visitarte. And the question number two, 
si alguien que no conoce tu ciudad o tu pueblo viene a visitarte, ¿qué actividades tú planearías para hacer con esta persona? ¿Ok? Esas son las dos preguntas entonces. So, ok, Valeria Espinosa, the question number one, do you have friends in other countries or other parts of Panama? Um, yes, I have friends in Arraiján. Arraiján, ok. Um, they, do they ever come to visit? ¿Ellos han venido alguna vez acá donde tú resides a visitarte? Yes, sometimes. Ok, thank you, Valerie. Girlen, if someone who doesn't know your town or city came to visit you, what activities would you plan for them? Si alguien que no conoce el lugar o la ciudad donde tú vives, viene a visitarte, ya sea desde el interior, ya sea desde otro país, ¿Qué actividades tú planearías para hacer con ellos para que conozcan ya sea tu ciudad, ya sea tu país? ¿Qué actividades se te ocurrirían para hacer entonces con ellos? Girlen. Pues es que lo tengo en la mente, pero en español y no sé bien cómo decírselo en, en... Ok, tell me to help you. Dímelo para ver cómo vamos a ir traduciendo. Um, yo planearía una salida a, como a la ciudad, tipo ir a parques o, o playas. Ok, so the answer is, I can plan some activities like go to some parks. O go to the beach. Ok. That are the activities that your land will plan for their friends. Ok. Now, Ileana, do you have friends in other countries or other part of Panama? Uh, yes, teacher. Ok. Where do they okay. live? Where do they live? Cocle, Arraiján, Chiriquí. Okay, and do they ever come to visit you uh, anytime? Uh, no. Okay, and Ileana, if someone of the, your friends comes to visit you, uh, what activities would you plan for them? Uh, I think uh, go to tourist or iconic place in Panama. Okay, thank you, Ileana. Now, Christopher, Christopher, do you have any friends in other countries or other parts of Panama? Yes, okay. in Veraguas. In Veraguas, okay. And do they ever come to visit you? No. Okay. And if someone of your friends comes to visit you, what activities will you plan for them? I go to to the you know, say, place, tourist place. Okay, to the tourist place. Okay. Thank you, Christopher. Okay, now we want to continue with the part number five. Okay. Complete the sentences with the words in the box. We have six words in this, in this box. Alternately, be, could, or, greater, and way. So we have six sentences here, and you have to choose one word of the box to complete each sentence, okay? Valen elegir una de las seis palabras que tenemos aquí en este recuadro para completar las seis oraciones que tenemos en la parte de abajo. Va una por oración. O sea que no tenemos chance de repetir ninguna. Va una en cada una de las líneas. Ok, I'm going to give you two minutes to try to complete correctly the sentences. And then we're going to check the answers. Ok. 
Okay, now we want to check the correct answers in the part number five in the practice. What is the correct uh, option in the number one? We go to the beach in the afternoon. What is the correct option? Alternatively, B, could, or rather, or wait. Cool. B. Okay, the correct option is could, okay? We could go to the beach in the afternoon. Nosotros podríamos ir a la playa en la tarde. We could go to the beach in the afternoon. Okay, so could is the correct option in the number one. In the number two, another option would to go to Walt Disney World. What is the answer in the number two? Another option would be, would be, exactly, okay? Another option will be to go to Walt Disney World. Otra opción podría ser, would be, podría ser, ir a Walt Disney, al mundo de Walt Disney, okay? Now, the number three, either I'm sure we'll have a great time. Either I'm sure we'll have a great time. What is the correct answer in the number three? Mm, way. Way, exactly. Either way, I'm sure we'll have a great time. De cualquier manera, estoy seguro que tendremos un gran tiempo, un gran momento. Okay, now the number four, would you have pasta or rice for dinner? Rather. Yes, exactly. Okay, this is the number four. We missed the sentence more, the number five. You could sleep on the sofa bed in the living room. The number five is easy. We only have two words. Alternative and or. What is the answer in the number five? You don't know what is the answer in the number five. We only have two words. We have alternatively. Alternatively. Yes, this is the, the answer in the number five. And in the number six, on Thursday night, you could either come to class or stay home, okay? We are giving an option between two. You can uh, come to class or stay at home, okay? Okay, so we're going to leave uh, the activity of reading until here for today.